Nearly four years now after Sandra Bland was found dead in her jail cell, there are now plans for a new hearing and there are calls to reopen the case. All of that because there's been the release of a new piece of video from Bland's own cell phone during her arrest back in 2015. But as Jason Allen reports, and he's joining us, some say that the video isn't new and may not really change anything about the case. Tell us more about that. Well, the video offers a new perspective on Bland's arrest, namely her own, but it is evidence an attorney said today that was included in the investigation into the traffic stop, and he said that it shows nothing different than really what we've seen before. The heated traffic stop and arrest of Sandra Bland in 2015. It's I said, get failure. out of the car. Why? Was all captured by the dashboard camera in State Trooper Brian Insinia's car, but it turns out it was also captured. Get out of the car! by Bland herself, who shot nearly 40 seconds of video on her phone before following orders to put the phone down. While um, this video certainly uh, brings back the memories and the emotions of the tragedy that this family suffered, it doesn't change anything. It was part of the evidence that was considered from day one. Attorney Chip Lewis represented Encinia in the criminal investigation after the incident. Her charges for perjury were dropped and Encinia quit law enforcement. Lewis said the video was part of digital evidence in the case. First reported by the investigative news network, Bland's family, however, contends they have never seen it and that it could be evidence Bland was never a threat to officer safety. When Ms. Bland went out of view into the passenger side of the vehicle, he was required by all training and law enforcement standards to remove her from a potential threat. Bland was found dead in jail from suicide three days later. Her family won a wrongful death suit, but Lewis said he believes the video doesn't change the facts that were already known. And he's the face um, of the blame. He's the person that pulled her over. Um, so I, I completely get where they're coming from, and I wish that those folks in that jail would have done a much better job of screening in her and listening to her disclosures. Tonight, State Representative Garnett Coleman, who passed the Sandra Bland Act providing de escalation training for officers, he said he will hold a hearing before the end of this legislative session in light of this video. Jason, thank you very much.